Welcome to Guys Talk Knives. This is episode 161. Brand new stinking microphone. Look at that. It has an arm. It goes <laughs> up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Just and one arm, though. Yeah. Does it feel fancy to you, TC? It does. It feels very fancy. <laughs> it, it feels like... Uh, <laughs> Like smooth jazz. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so he's in the blue house today. And it is a stinking microphone because it smells new. So it, it, it <laughs> mm, There's nothing like fresh <laughs> microphone in the morning. <laughs> Guys, it is December 3rd, Thursday, December 3rd. Guys Talk Knives, we are on episode 161. If you're looking for us to be live on this episode, look again. It is pre-recorded. We did this two days ago, but we are live chatting with you, unlike we were able to do last week on Turkey Day. On Turkey Day. <laughs> did you eat a lot of leftovers? I did. I did. <laughs> I absolutely did. But I was doing a lot of shows, so, so I was I was at the Stampede like 14 hours a day. So, so. I always I always have to say this. I like to try to prove this record. Of, I love deviled eggs. Do you like deviled eggs? Yes, but other people around me do not like me to have deviled eggs. Uh, well, yeah, there's a problem with that. <laughs> Number one, if you open the Tupperware coming out of the refrigerator, it smells the same way it does after you've eaten a bunch of deviled eggs. Right, right. right? Exactly. But I always, you know, you would never sit down and go like, I'm going to have 10 eggs today. <laughs> <laughs> but then suddenly on Thanksgiving, you're like, oh, man, they're mixed with mayonnaise, put some paprika on it, and dumped in half a shell. Oh, I'm going to eat 35 of these. It's going to be great. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there and was four a Four hours later, you are so <laughs> regretting that decision. That, that is true. Just don't eat the broccoli, <laughs> broccoli <laughs> casserole, too. Yeah, broccoli casserole. That's right. You have to watch out for the broccoli casserole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good show. I feel it in my bones. We have four items to get through. We had five, but you guys keep buying everything for Christmas. Yeah, right? Oh, gosh. The the showroom is uh, is looking like it's been torn through. Oh, yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, there's it's, still a lot down there, but... <laughs> there's like, a lot to begin with. <laughs> there was a real lot to begin with. Uh, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, it is day three of the 12 days of Christmas. If you don't know what that means, we're putting up two great items Every single day at great prices. It just goes for that day. Tomorrow, there'll be another two items that go for the 12 days of Christmas. And that will go all the way to December 12th. So tune in for those every day. We're still doing $39 free shipping. So you place an order that is $39 or more, you will get free shipping on that order. You guys were great on Black Friday. You guys were great and took advantage of those deals all the way through Cyber Monday uh, and through Tuesday uh, on our other uh, Cyber Monday deals. So keep with it. Uh, you still have time to get your stuff just in time for Christmas. So make those orders again, $39 free shipping on that stuff. Let's jump into this stuff and, and see what we've got. Uh, we're going to start off with a new series from Case today. And uh, this happens to be the Case Gray Jigged Bone Swayback that is in my hand. It's part of the Gray Jigged Bone series. To me, this is just a classically nice little knife. The Swayback is one of my favorite patterns out there. Uh, let's take a look at it, and I'll tell you all about it. Oh, i got to find a new space for the notes right <laughs> there. Oh, they're all in the shot. Oh, oh, there they are. <laughs> Guys, we improved the studio, just not my brain quality as we try <laughs> to move through it. Uh, the Case Gray Jig Bone Series, they feature true sharp surgical steel blades with a mirror-polished finish. Um, all these guys have nail nicks. This Swayback has half stops. Not all of the knives have half stops, but any of the, God rest his soul, Tony, uh, Tony Bowes uh, knives have this half stops in them, and I love them for that. The handles on here are actual genuine bone. They are gray, and they are jigged. Uh, and then it has the brass pins and the brass liners on this knife. And then you have nickel silver bolsters and the pewter case oval shield. It's the case XX shield in pewter. A swayback is 3.188 inches closed. And that makes this a small knife for your pocket. But look at the size of it once you get it open. Look at my big, ugly fingerprint right on that thing. <laughs> oh, I'm knocking things around here. Marina's so going to be mad. Th this to me is a great knife. A lot of people say that handle looks backwards, but I don't think so. I think this thing is just in the exact right spot. It is a nice medium-sized traditional pocket knife um, that closes down to very small at 3.18 or 3.2 inches closed. You're talking about $67.99 for this Swayback, which is part of that brand new Case Gray Jig Bone series. What do you guys think of this? I think it's beautiful. It, it, I mean, it's classic. I like the shield. 
I do too. I, yeah. I thought that was a nice touch to do a pewter yeah. shield, um, especially in that gray. It really kind of set it off, which is kind of nice. Um, there is something about this pattern that I love. I know that Isaac is not a huge fan of the swayback, are you, Mr. Isaac? No, I'm the one that said it looks backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does, but it was actually it's actually made for a lot of specific reasons. This was a, a loom knife. So this yeah. the swayback was designed to help fix looms and cut things deep in there without doing other things. Uh, you've got a nice flat uh, Warncliffe blade right out front. It fits nicely in your hand for push cutting, and that's yeah. what that blade is designed for. So, and it's great uh, as far as precision goes too. With that point, with it coming to a point like it does, it's it's yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, so you could take whatever and get into it, yeah. and then through it exactly, which is nice. <laughs> It was a nice new paper cut for the show. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> With a case knife, nonetheless. Right? <laughs> was brave. But you can see, it does have a half stop, and uh, yeah. it does go down to be very small when it goes in the pocket. I really like the Swayback. I like this new series. I think there are like um, seven or eight of the cased gray jigged bone knives on the site. I'm I not positive. So, yeah. yeah. Nice. That's that. Yeah. Moving right along. Boys and girls. <laughs> marching on, marching on. Um, what is next? Oh, Ker Kershaw. Now, guys, if you don't know this, Kershaw makes a whole line of budget-friendly knives that you're going to be able to pick up. This one's under 20 bucks. This is the Coilover. Um, it is a speed-safe assisted knife. It's a liner lock. I think all of these knives uh, that Kershaw makes like this with a decent steel, the thing to me is you have that guy at work who covets your really good knife. Yeah. He covets the um, re eight that's in your pocket, right? But you Ooh. don't want to give him the re eight that's in your pocket. So for Christmas, you go spend 20 bucks, and then Bubba is happy as hell <laughs> to have a coilover that does that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show this knife to you guys up close and personal so that you can know exactly what's in it. But let's take a look right here. Oh, I'm, I'm losing my mind with all these different base <laughs> things. I, I got it, though. I got right back to it. That is a three inch. 8CR13 MOV straight back blade. Um, it does have a really nice swedge, and it has that great stone wash finish from Kershaw. 0.11 inches thick. You can see the ambidextrous thumb studs right there. You can see a nice amount of jimping right here. Stainless steel liners and nice jimping at your palm and out towards the front where your thumb would go. It is a liner lock. Uh, these are just standard uh, glass-filled nylon handles. So you got a nice little cut there. Uh, and, uh, tip down pocket clip on this that is removable but not reversible when you close this thing it is four inches closed there's the front there is the back and then speed safe assist guys boom right there seven inches overall uh, with this knife and weighs in at just about three ounces 20 bucks 19.99 at smkw.com it's one of those you can make your coworker really really happy uh, but you're not going to spend a ton on it yeah that's did That's you see that switch? That Did you see that switch? Yeah. It was slick. It was slick. It was slick. <laughs> and then into the split. <laughs> We're well, still working on the split. It, it <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier when you're not uh, having to talk and switch at the same time. Um, <laughs> not to steal a thun. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs that <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh, Isaac and I were just talking about that this morning, about uh, like getting someone, a friend, a gift. And uh, it being something more uh, affordably minded that they're going to really love. And it's packed full of features, but it's not going to break the bank. Right. And that's something that Kershaw does phenomenally. Superb. And, yeah. and you're talking about Kershaw, who's been in the business for quite a while now. But Kershaw, who is... Ooh, I get to move the mic down so you can that's actually right. hear me. Um, no, Kershaw, who not only makes this line, you're talking about all the launch series. They have higher end knives. You're talking about knives that are upward of $100, but this is a $20 knife. This is a nice knife for somebody who is just getting into knives. Um, as we said, 8CR13, going to be like 440 Yeah. About as yeah. close as you can get. Um, flipper, thumb studs. I have not tried the thumb studs yet. Oh, come on. Oh, mm -hmm. I missed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you needed those sound effects nah. we were practicing. Yeah. But, it's <laughs> <laughs> but does it cut? Are these sharp? Holy guacamole. <gasps> that was nice. beautiful. That's way sharper than I thought it was going to be. That's impressive. I'm just... That, that's, hold hold it up a little bit. It's oh, slicing go. through that like just oh, man. butter. That's, that's unreal. Crazy town. That's one of the best 
paper cutting knives we've had in here since I started working here. It's true. And of course, I ruined it yeah, right there. I was yeah. trying to get a small, a tiny cut. Dude. <laughs> okay, we're just going to do this the rest of the show. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of that video idea, but I think we needed to do it with Andy instead of TC. <laughs> Look at that. Look at I you mean, winning at paper. I am beating paper all day long. I mean, that's crazy town. 20 bucks. That's awesome. Um, when we got to visit the Kershaw factory uh, a few years ago, uh, they took us all through, and like 70% of their staff is female, which I thought was awesome. So building the That's knives really cool. and all of that, uh, 70% female. It was around 65 70%. One of the cool things was to watch them sharpen the knives. So when they're building all of these, the edge isn't put on, obviously, because you don't want to cut yourself up doing that part of it. But to watch the girl sharpen the knives, woman, I should probably say, <coughs> she did like three passes on this machine, pulls it out, through the paper, done. <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> that is insanity, right? Right? Now. For me, <coughs> if you look at, because the name is Coilover, there's a pattern on the handle, mm -hmm. and it looks like Mar a Mario. You know, the bricks on the Mario Go, go to. Oh, oh, yeah. So I see. Yeah. want like a little mushroom doop, doop, pivot. Doop, doop, do it if you didn't. Do, 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 Bling, bling, bling. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, 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 denim. That is truly sad. <laughs> truly sad. Uh, 20 bucks. Kershaw coilover. You need got somebody in your life who you like quite a bit, but you can't spend a ton of money on. Get them one of these. Uh, ACR 13 MOV. Nice little everyday carry pocket knife from Kershaw. Dig that. I dig it a lot. Mm -hmm -hmm. Coming up next. What do we got next? Oh. What next? Oh, the Gerber. And it's a sumo that you just made that. Racist. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I am. You. I, I did not even know this knife existed until I saw it on our website. And I have to say, it lived up to the picture. Yeah. It is big. Yeah. It lives up to its name of Sumo. This is the Gerber Sumo. It has one of those uh, inline locks, sort of like an axis lock. Uh, so you can pull that and shake it closed. It's a thumb <laughs> hole opener. It's so big, I have trouble pulling the lock in, doing the thing at the same time. But you can flick that. <laughs> it's flick flicky. that out right there. It is just a very, very big knife. In fact, let me show it to you so you guys can know what's here. It is a Gerber knife. Um, it is a 3.9 inch, so pretty long blade there. 7CR17 MOV drop point blade. Has a nice dark stone wash finish. It is an eighth of an inch thick, so it is nice and thick, 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 thick right there. Uh, black stone wash finish, like I said, it has a black G10 handle, handle on it. Um, I love the layered look of that handle, how pretty that is. That is one of my favorite ways that people do G10. So they're layering black and gray, and you come out with this gorgeous. You can see it really, really well right there on the yeah. sides. Um, it has red liners on the inside that I don't think we Ceramic noted. Coated. Ceramic coated red liners nice lanyard hole uh, ambidextrous tip up pocket clip on this thing when it closes down you're talking about five inches closed this is a big boy knife this is not a little boy knife big boy knife when you open this thing up it is nine inches overall and weighs in at a hefty five ounces right there that's that's a hell of a knife yeah you're gonna know what you got yeah <laughs> i mean for real that just feels good to me i'm gonna get a fresh piece of paper Fresh paper. paper waster. <sighs> Fresh paper of knife works. That was a bad. That's not bad. For a big knife? Yeah. I keep cutting up. And that's that's pretty nice. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? I mean, I like that it has the the pullback. What, what lock are they calling this thing? They call oh a pivot lock. Everybody has the other it's name because they cannot say lock. it's an access lock. It's an access <laughs> lock, and I like that. I, I like that more companies are doing that. Yes. What? Oh, you, you can. Because yeah. <laughs> you know that is my style. A, a new that feature of the is show. Absolutely it is the uh, Molina Pass. The Molina Pass. <laughs> yeah. I and see, I I just like that access lock. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's that's it's a big boy knife for real. It feels great. And I got to be honest, uh, like as far as uh, my experience, 
Um, Gerber has always been a very durable brand for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've owned them for years, and my multi tool I've had for seventeen years now. And Some people it, swear by Gerber. Yeah, they're fantastic, and yeah. that actually flicks open pretty good with, if you do the, once the you're wrist used, action. Yeah, once you're yeah. used to where it's going to be in the thumb hole, I think it's going to come open just fine Ooh. that way. You can also pull back that pivot <laughs> lock and swing it open. Uh, my question is, I know. Have you looked at the price yet? Don't look at the price. If no. You have, no, I haven't. How much is that knife? <clears throat> Without looking at the price, if I were to guess, I would say fifty nine ninety five. Yeah, I was going to put it in around a forty eight dollar yeah. range. Around forty five forty eight is where I would put that knife. No, it is twenty eight dollars and seventy nine cents. That's nice. That's insane. That's, that's nice. That is insane. Yeah. Twenty eight seventy nine on that knife, and uh, depending on when this show airs, I think today is the last day of the Gerber sale. December 3rd, yes. Uh, so, yeah. um, yes. So, what you're saying is that you can get that, but then if you get a $10 Rough Rider on top of that, you, you get would free get shipping. free shipping <laughs> as well. <laughs> She's on it today. <laughs> she is on it. I ship my pants. <laughs> <laughs> ship my pants. I <laughs> guess. I do remember that. Yeah. No, I was just going to uh, let you hang out there with yeah. it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I saw his, his eyes were like, come on, guys. You know it was funny. <laughs> you, you, you know where I'm going with this. You know I didn't just say that. <laughs> Hashtag diaper TC. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate comfort. That's what Ultimate I'm comfort. Never have to leave my own recliner. <laughs> Especially in the wintertime. It's right. cold. <laughs> no. I Not keep, at all. I keep myself Not anymore. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we man, we've gone to bad to worst to this show, right? That's the Gerber Sumo, guys. It's a big boy knife at twenty eight dollars and seventy nine cents. You can get that. At, I'm going to tell you right now. I looked up how many were in stock. There is not a lot in stock. So if you want one, probably get on it and get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So that's a great deal. Yeah, that's a substantial hunk of steel right there. Twenty eight. 79. Nice. Last knife of the day is a hella knife. It's a hella knife. Yeah. It's hella good. It's hella <laughs> awesome. I love these knives. Um, they are very traditional Scandinavian. This is a skog. Uh, and you can see that it's pretty much a um, nice Scandi- Scandinavian steel blade with a mirror polish that comes into a uh, rat tail tang and then is locked on at the base here with a brass rivet and screw. Um, A great handle. This one happens to be beechwood on this particular thing. But these are very traditional knives, come with a very traditional sheath. And in fact, let's take a look at it up close and I'll tell you about it. Oh, there's my notes right there. I'm going to get them out of the shot. That's just all the paper on the table. Paper everywhere. Your confetti. (laughs) You got confetti everywhere. We're keeping the unions alive. We'll put it in the floor, they'll come clean it up. Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) You all have never watched. Okay, come back to one. Come back to one and split this. So you've never watched the, uh, uh, who was the the union boss forever? Scotty? uh, No. um, (sighs) Um, Jimmy Hoffa. Hoffa, yeah. Hoffa. In in Hoffa, he's standing there on marble floors and everything else. He's smoking a cigarette, and he puts it out in the floor and does it with his shoe. And they ask him, why would you do that? Because that's a job. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was going full Hoffa there, okay? We'll just, we'll just leave you out there. To uh, yeah, no. <laughs> well, while well, well, TC ships his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that is a three-inch triple laminate steel drop point blade with a mirror polish finish. Uh, gorgeous on that. 0.1 inches thick, which is nice and slicey, as Shane and Patrick would tell us. Uh, it is a beechwood handle. It is a sev- it is 7.2 inches overall and weighs in at 4.1 ounces. Um, it does include this really, really nice Scandinavian style sheath, genuine leather on that. Hella is a great brand. They come in tubes. It's just very, very nice. This is a $99 knife from Hella. You know, I actually walked up to the booth and said, please tell me how to pronounce this name. <laughs> and when he said Hella, I was like, yes. It's hella good. It is hella good. The thing is, are you waiting to pass that again? I'm going to cut some more paper. (laughs) You guys can't see her. She's like stalking me from the side of the... (laughs) You want me to throw her out there on the the torture cam? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so look. Mora Martini. Yeah. Hello. 
Do you think it's sharp? It's got to be. It's got to be it's hella sharp. Be. Yes, it is. <laughs> it, they're beyond sharp. Yeah. I mean, there's no effort there. I mean, that's... It just falls right through it. It does. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you guys, if you get a hella knife, uh, be hella careful with it because... it's going to be hella sharp. It is, and you can cut <laughs> yourself pretty darn easy. But the, these knives, they come super sharp. I was doing so good, and then I hit that nick. And it does have a Scandi grind, right? Um, it does sort of. It's a it, it is a Scandi grind, but it is not a tall Scandi yeah, grind. It looks like a half Scandi. <laughs> <laughs> and now it sounds. We're gonna like go an half insult. Scandi on that one. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go half Scandi on that one. Come here, little girl. You want some Scandi? Because <laughs> that wasn't creepy or anything. I <laughs> uh, gotta go with the dirty <laughs> papa voice. <laughs> Bad grandpa. Gosh, what do you think about it, TC? What? I think that's beautiful, and I, I love I love the beechwood handle. That's mm-hmm. that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Just a little pinch between your cheek and your gum, and it's all good. Oh, that's beech nut. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a glass breaker on the bottom. Is no, it? no, that is no. where the, the okay. So since that is a tapered tang, it's not a full tang. It's not the f- entire width of the handle. Yeah, uh, that's where you screw the base of that tang, that rat tail tang, into the bottom of that. That's actually pretty neat. It's, yeah. it's tr- most if you guys look historically at knives, <coughs> that's the way they were made yeah. for centuries because you wouldn't waste steel. Exactly. That could be another blade. You taper this tang down into the handle, screw it in at the bottom, yep. and then you've got a nice tight thing. Uh, with the size of that handle, too, and probably how it's wedged in there, it's not going anywhere. No. And you're not going to beat the crud out of this knife anyway. No. That, that's not There's no do. batoning with Baton. the scog. No, no. <laughs> what What about a flamethrower? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure the beach would be toast. You know, it's interesting you said that, and I thought it just as soon as you said it. It is the um, handles on these uh, Hella knives. A lot of people do their own thing with them because they are hardwoods and solid woods, and, and they're usually plain like this. You can do your own burning, whatever oh, yeah. you wanted. You could dye this whatever color you wanted. You could stain it. It's just... Oh, absolutely. Make it your own. Just nice. 99 bucks at smkw.com. That is the Hella Scog. That's a beautiful sheath, too. Like, that's just very classy. Oh, it's nice. It's yeah. a very, very nice knife. Well, so let's go around Robin. Uh, Isaac, first up, what was your favorite thing on the show today? So we had the swayback, the case swayback, which is definitely probably not going to be it. You had the coilover. Uh, you had the sumo from Gerber. And you had. That hella scog. I might have to go with the sumo from Gerber. Nice. Wow. So, okay. I, I, that's nice. the first. Surprise. That's a big knife choice for me. That's a, that's a surprise for Isaac. I was gonna I was gonna say the Kershaw for him definitely. Well, he has to carry this one in his tube sock, <laughs> only on the green and yellow days. I, I really like the handles on that one, and the it it the colors are you know it's simple. It's not it's not doing too much. <clears throat> And uh, after seeing you cut with it and the size that it is, mm-hmm. it seems like a pretty good knife. Oh, yeah. Urban and and, and, and and for me, price the point price. is right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, knew, you knew where it was going. <laughs> price point is right. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Can you give us a thumbs up in that camera shot right there? Oh, nope. go. There he <laughs> is. There is Isaac right there. So, TC, what was your favorite of the day? Sumo's out. Uh, sumo's out. I'm going to go with the Skog. The hell of Skog. Nice. Yeah. I wouldn't have suspected that. Yeah. Good for you. No, that's a. That, <coughs> that's no, that, gonna be something that I would want to put in my tackle box right there. Right. Or take fishing. That's that's. Yeah, actually, you and and frankly, as much as you ride horses, you could wear that, and it's oh, not gonna be yeah. beat off of you in the middle exactly. of the ride. So that's kind of cool too. Yeah. Nice. So Skog is out. We're down to a sway back and a coilover. Well, since TC picked my hella hella <laughs> hella hella. Eh. Eh, 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 oh. uh, the coilover, because Mario. Wow. Well, I figure you take the sway I back. S- I thought about it, but then Mario. Okay, so she's going Mario with the coilover again. That's a $20 knife that cut through things like they were butter. Yeah. Fantastic right there. It had almost the same cutting as that Hellas Gog, which kind of blew my mind That's right impressive. there. Yeah. So I guess I'm stuck with the sway back, but it is my favorite case pattern, or second favorite case pattern. First is the Seahorse Whittler, then the sway back, and... That's a fantastic knife anyway, but yeah, I'll take that one as my knife of the day. Any other questions, thoughts, comments, concerns? No, you just want to wrap it up? Let me remind you guys that we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest, the largest 
in the world knife store, both right. online and in person. Come see us this Christmas. You still have time. We're right off of Interstate 40, exit 407, about three and a half, four miles up the road. There's a light now that you can turn in and get to the store, but just look for the big blue roof once you cross a big bridge. You can see a bridge, see a big blue roof, you can see lights on the building, see Christmas tree out front. It's going to be good stuff. Come in and see us. Take advantage of the sales that go on in the store. Sometimes they are different from what we do online. So Cruise around the whole store and check that out. While you're here, make sure you visit the Relic Room, which is downstairs. Make sure you uh, visit our sister store, which is Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. Lots of great uh, things there if you like guns and ammo. <laughs> 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 Just jump in there and check that out. Was, I know, it was deep, right? That was profound right It there. was, right? A profound statement. Keep, Keep paying attention to what is going online right now uh, with the different sales that are out there. We're still in the middle of 12 days of Christmas, still $39 free shipping. Uh, there are site busters out there. There are promotions galore. Uh, a lot of map holidays going on. In fact, if you go on our site right now and you go to the promotions page, you're going to see all of those in the exact same spot. Take advantage. You still have plenty of time to get things uh, by Christmas. Uh, and a knife is always a great thing to get. Plus, we have everything else under the sun that you can possibly think of on that website. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you've watched a whole other episode of Guys Talk Knives, but I'm going to wrap this up really, really quick. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to that YouTube channel. Ring smash that notification. It. Smash it. Just smash, smash that. Smash that up. like button. Ring that notification bell. <laughs> uh, Isaac's voice and hand made an appearance on today's show. <laughs> Wave to us, Isaac. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> <laughs> TC has been in the cockpit, not switching, just talking. All good. Melina has been on Torture Cam right there in the spotlight. My name is Andy. I'm the host of Guys Talk Knives. We will catch you on Tuesday with a whole other live show. Until then, be good. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs>